Did you know that you go to diet jail if you talk bad about omega-6s too much? Did you know that you go to diet jail if you talk about inflammation too much because apparently it's taboo and you're not supposed to talk about it? Sounds to me like that's the perfect thing to talk about. So I'm gonna cover omega-3s and omega-6s and the result of inflammation in your body with one versus the other. Now, I'm not a doctor, I don't play one on TV, I don't even play one on YouTube. I'm just some guy on the internet that happened to lose 100 pounds and got interested in biochemistry. So let's dive in to omega-3s versus omega-6s inflammation category. Hey, please do hit that red subscribe button and then hit that little bell icon, turn on notifications after this video you're gonna to wanna to check out my friends at Thrive Market. You've probably seen them a few times on my channel, but that's because they're awesome. So check them out. They're an online like pantry, online store, where you can get all your pantry essentials, keto, fasting, everything in the health category delivered right to your doorstep. And most of the time, you're gonna find better prices than you do at the grocery store anyway. Plus, you don't have to drive there. So it comes right to your doorstep. They are super awesome. They've been a supporter of this channel for years. So if you've been following me, you've seen them. So it's time to drop the hammer and give them a try. They are down below in the description, special link, special access for those that watch my videos. Okay, quick recap on omega-3s versus omega-6s. I did a full video on this, so I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail. Basically, they are very similar. Molecularly, almost identical. But when you get down to it, there are a couple key differences. One is the placement of the last unsaturated bond. That just sounds silly. Like, I don't expect you to know what that is. I don't even wanna say it because it just makes me sound like a conceited prick. The point is, they're slightly different. But when you get them inside your body, they compete for the same enzyme. The enzyme called desaturase. And this desaturase enzyme will break down whatever you give it more of. So if you are loaded up with omega-6s, which newsflash, you probably are, especially if you're doing keto, then you probably have a ton of omega-6s in, well, you're gonna occupy all that desaturase so you can't really utilize your omega-3s more. But you're not here for the molecular difference between omega-3s and omega-6s. Let's talk about what happens as far as inflammation is concerned. First thing I wanna talk about is a study that was published in PLOS Biology that had to do with omega-6s and the effect on neutrophils, which is part of our inflammation army in our body, so to speak. Turns out that omega-6s stimulate a signal that produces or signals for neutrophils to cross through the endothelial cell, endothelial layer, and trigger inflammation. This can happen body-wide. Now we know that omega-6s are inflammatory because we read it on Dr. Axe's website or some random health guru's website, but what is actually happening in your body? Well, it's sending a command to your immune system to start activating when it shouldn't activate. Why? Because omega-6s are rightfully supposed to play a role in our inflammatory response. But the problem is we consume so much of them, we have this overabundance of an inflammatory response. It's like, instead of having one general that's commanding all the troops, you suddenly have too many generals in the kitchen, so to speak, and you're causing all kinds of inflammatory chaos in your body. That's not a good thing, not for anybody. Then you look at a contrast study, also published in PLOS1 Biology, took a look at omega-3s. So omega-3s, if they can actually capture that desaturase and utilize it, because it's not getting overrun with omega-6s, they downstream get converted into something called EPA, eicosapentaenoic acid. Okay, EPA triggers the production of something called a prostaglandin D3, type three prostaglandins. Here's what's cool. If you were paying attention earlier, you know that omega-6s trigger a bunch of these neutrophils to go through. Okay, well, it turns out that prostaglandin D3 will come in and it'll occupy the receptor that would normally allow inflammation to start. So prostaglandin D3 is an inflammation blockade. It's like it comes in and it blocks the harbor, it blocks the driveway, so inflammation can't come in and park. So when that happens, inflammation does not elevate as much. Okay, you're able to block it and keep it at bay somewhat. Now there are a lot of studies that talk about inflammation in omega-3s and 6s. And quite frankly, most of it's boring and most of it won't excite you that much because it's just molecular random biology and biochemistry. But there's another piece that I think is really important to talk about. And that is called resolvins and protectants. So in addition to literally triggering inflammation or literally helping to block it, there's also a cleanup effect. Omega-3s promote a massive increase in what are called resolvins and protectants. Now, resolvins, just like the name implies, they clean up all the waste from our inflammatory response. Okay, so the way I like to look at it is all these interleukins, all these things that have to do with our immune system, when they get called into war in our body to fight off a pathogen, they leave a path of destruction everywhere they went. 
It's not a clean process. These aren't just like elite troops that are going in and neutralizing the threat cleanly. They just bomb everything. That's why a lot of times when you get sick, the effect is actually your own immune system making you feel the way that you feel. It's not whatever it is that you have or whatever pathogen. Okay, so they leave a mess. Well, resolvins, as created by omega-3s and stimulated by omega-3s, clean up the waste, which means your body can get back to normal homeostasis much faster. So if you did have a surge of omega-6s coming in, you did have a surge of inflammation, omega-3s can help the cleanup process, but then they also help create protectins, which help protect against the overabundance of cytokines, the overabundance, the overreaction of our immune system. It is amazingly epic stuff, and that's exactly why you do need to be paying attention to omega-3s versus omega-6s if you want to be able to feel your best, look your best, and ultimately be your best. So as always, I'll see you tomorrow.